In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Dortmund Databank Explorer version. So click on your Windows icon, come down to the Explorer version folder and then click on Dortmund Databank. And this will bring up the Explorer version and just to note this is a limited version uh, of the databank so it doesn't have all of the properties that are available if you buy the full version. So this is just to sort of test out the data bank and, and see what it can do. So in order to find some data you can add components by clicking the button here on the right hand side and then you can search. So uh, put in the name of the component that you want and click search and then it will bring up that component hopefully so there we go we've got methanol which is what I searched for and then we can click add component to the query and that's been added now and then I'm going to search for acetone so there's acetone I'm going to add that to my query now I'm going to close this component selection and I'm going to click on system exact match so I just want systems that have these two components and then it's going to search the data bank and it's brought this up and there's a whole host of different uh, properties that I can click on. I'm going to click on VLE and what you can see here is that we've got different data sets. Uh, the first three it shows that there are six points in the first one, 14 and then eight. So these ones are actually available in the free version and there's a reference for where they came from. If you go further down there's no points and there's no references so these are not available in this Explorer version. If we click on there we can look and we can see the data that's available. Okay so there's a lot of different things you can do with this that's just a basic introduction of how to use this Explorer version there are other programs, other things that you can search for, but it just gives you an initial way in to start using the Explorer version of the Dortmund Data Bank.